Hey guys, welcome to Trail and Kale. I'm Helen and this is my Ultra Temp 5 shoe review. That's these guys right here. Today I'm going to be taking you on a trail run in some of our local trails here in Northern California. I'm going to be putting the Ultra Temp 5 through its paces on some gnarly uphills, gnarly downhills, some forest roads, some fire roads. You name it, we've been raining last night, so we've got a bit of mud as well thrown in the mix, and we're gonna see how they do. In this review, I'm gonna let you know what I like about these shoes, areas for potential improvement, who I think they're for, what kind of runner I think they're for, and ultimately, at $155, whether I think they're worth the money. Let's go hit those trails. Let's go over some key features of the Ultra Temp 5. Now, being Ultra shoes, if you're not familiar, Ultra is very well known for their zero drop trail running and road running shoes. So those are shoes where there's no difference between the heel stack height and the toe stack height. So if we take a look at the shoes, you'll see what I mean. So no differential between how far this bit is off the ground and how far this bit of the shoe is off the ground. Other interesting features on these Temp 5s with the pretty firm toe box so if you're going to kick any rocks or roots or if you tend to do that sort of thing when you trail run then um, that was going to give you some protection. Another unique element of ultra running shoes is the toe box so ultra specifically designs the shoes with a wider toe box at the front. It's not necessarily for people who have wide feet it's more to allow your toes to splay naturally the way they would if you were running without shoes. While we're here let's check out the laces. Pretty standard laces got a bit of texture on them um, as you saw at the beginning of this video they do it pretty well um, staying done up no slippage and really you're just getting a really secure fit straight out the box so I wear the Timp 5 in uh, US Women's 7.5 and each one of these shoes weighs 8.1 ounce about 230 grams which is pretty lightweight for a trail running shoe the last feature I want to call out for you uh, before we get into what I like and maybe don't like so much about these trail running shoes is the outsole so the outsole on the Timp 5 is Vibram Mega Grip. You can see here some really good lugs that I've been getting dirty on these trails out here. Um, very, very confidence building, and I'll get into that um, when we move on to the next section of this review when I talk about what I like about these shoes. So, if you're not familiar with Trail and Kale yet, we're a website, trailandkale.com, that helps you run your best, whether that's through running shoe reviews and running gear reviews, just like this one, uh, free training plans, or running 101 advice. Head over to trailandkale.com and go and check out the website if you haven't already and check out our YouTube channel as well for loads of running shoe video reviews and other reviews just like this one. Let's go over the features I love about the Ultra Tint 5. Now, bear with me, there's quite a lot of them. I'll do my best to keep it brief. First off, the outsole. I already showed you the outsole earlier in this review. It is insanely grippy. It's continuing to hold up to some proper abuse on these trails and if I could use one word to describe it, and just to describe these shoes in general, actually it's two words, confidence building. The sole on these shoes just does not slip on anything I've put it to the test on, and there's nothing more confidence building than that when you're running on trails. Secondly, the midsole. I already said it's zero drop, but it's also really well cushioned, so you're getting kind of the best of both worlds in my opinion. Um, really nice cushioning for um, taking a beating on some of these sort of more rocky sections of trail. Three, the fit. It fits true to size, so um, I'm normally a woman 7.5, I'm wearing a 7.5, these shoes fit my feet perfectly. It's a really, what I would describe as like a snug fit around the middle of your foot, but then you've got the wider toe box, which is one of Ultra's kind of unique selling points here. So if we take a look at the toe box, you can see what I mean. So it's really snug fit around here, the lace system works really well, my feet stay in place, so I put them in the shoe, tighten the laces, and I don't think my heel's gonna slip, I'm not worried about gaps or my feet sliding forward in the shoe, but then you've got this nice wide toe box. Now this isn't the widest toe box shape that Ultra do in their trail shoes. If you want a wider shape because you have, kind of have a wider forefoot, then check out the Lone Peak 8, which I reviewed recently as well, and you can watch my video of that. Um, they've got a wider toe box on that shoe. Lastly, on the things I like about the Ultra Tint 5, um, really is kind of a general point, is the attention to detail that Ultra put into these trail running shoes. So they've got hooks here for attaching gaiters. If you want to wear a gaiter over your shoe, there's a little Velcro section here. You can attach the gaiter on the heel. Love that. The tongue comes up nice and high. It doesn't slip down underneath the laces. That's really nice. It's also quite padded. The fact the outsole wraps up around the toe and also it kicks out a little bit, kicks up 
on the heel section here so for going downhill you've got a little bit of extra again confidence boosting that you've got a bit more traction if you end up kind of going on on the back there on some steeps so really loving these shoes and if i sound out of breath it's because these features are taking my breath away If you're enjoying this review, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this. <laughs> Alright guys, so what's not to like about the Timp 5s? Very little in my opinion. These are probably some of my favourite trail running shoes so far this season, so um, that says a lot given how many running shoes we review here at Trail & Kale. So as I already described, it's a zero drop shoe, so if you're used to kind of a higher heel stack, they might not be for you. It's got a wider toe box than average. Again, if you don't really need that, then maybe that makes them not for you. If you want a wider toe box, like I already mentioned, you can check out the Lone Peak 8, which are very similar trail running shoes from Ultra, with a wider toe box than the Timp 5. But all in all, very little negative to say about these shoes. Really enjoying them. I've run a lot further than I intended to run today for this video, um, just because I was enjoying myself so much. So that's a testament to a great pair of trail running shoes. And ultimately, why do we trail run? Is it not because it's fun? I'm sure there's loads of other reasons that you enjoy running trails, but certainly that's one for me and these shoes make a big difference to my enjoyment when you've got a nice pair of trail running shoes that give you the confidence on any terrain in any conditions. Let's wrap up this review then. Ultra Tint 5, who are they for? What kind of trail runner are they for? Well, pretty much any trail runner I'd say. You know, with the grip that we've got here, the fact that the fact that they fit true to size, so you shouldn't have issues with sizing here, you just go through your regular size. Um, if you're not sure, you can order them from somewhere like REI, for example, um, with a really good returns policy and just try, on, try them on for size and make sure you've got the right pair. With the amount of cushioning the shoes have, they're really well suited to long distance trail running. So anything from kind of half marathons, 30Ks, through to marathons, 50Ks, other longer ultra marathons, people run a long way in these shoes um, so if you think you've got potential to do that then these could well be your loyal companion for all those miles $155 pretty typical price for a pair of trail running shoes there are other shoes that I don't enjoy as much that are more expensive than that so for $155 I'd say these are a great deal definitely keeping these in my trail running shoe arsenal if you've got any questions about them drop me a comment I'll get back to you as soon as possible Thanks for watching this review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more reviews like this, where we at Trail and Kale take you out for the ride with us on trails and roads here in Northern California to really show you how we put the shoes through their paces on our testing grounds and bring you along for the ride. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.